I just want to say how grateful I am to uh, be in this, uh, amongst so many beautiful worshipers of our precious Lord Jesus. Um, my, uh, this is kind of special for me because I'm from Los Angeles. And the name of my church in Los Angeles is Christian Assembly. <laughs> So I didn't realize I was coming home. <laughs> and uh, I've been waiting to meet you. I thought I was going to have to wait until heaven, but here we are. <laughs> and I just uh, wanted to tell you a little bit about my story so that we get to know each other a little bit and then we'll just worship some, we'll, uh, worship some more. But um, I'm from El Paso, Texas in the desert where all the cowboys used to live. And um, I had a dream to be a uh, famous artist, a musical artist, so I, I um, moved to Hollywood, California. And I went to a music school right on Hollywood Boulevard where all the stars are on the sidewalk, you know. And um, I was, um, meeting record company people and, and uh, in Hollywood, you know, everybody knows somebody famous or, or they pretend like they do. We call it the name dropping capital of the world. And um, I, I was there and I was passing out my demos and uh, I was being rejected and nobody really cared about my music. Uh, but I remember my mom telling me when I was very young, don't wait for the perfect opportunity to let God use you, but give your gifts away now. So I found a little church nearby in Los Angeles and I, I walked up to the pastor and I said, you don't know me, but my mom told me to serve now. <laughs> so, so, so I said, whatever you need. <laughs> And um, so I ended up uh, leading worship in one of the home groups, just in a little house. And I thought to myself, Lord, you know, I, I risked everything and I moved to Hollywood with all those weird people. And because um, I wanted to do great big things for you. But now all you've given me is this 12 people in this house to lead worship. That's all. And I felt like I almost heard God say, uh, I could hear it, just tell me, just be faithful in a little. And um, so I was still during this time writing songs and trying to meet the famous people and all that. But I was serving in this church and eventually I became the worship leader at this little church. And then one day my pastor said to me, uh, Tommy, why don't you stop writing songs for Tommy and start writing worship songs for Christian Assembly? And I thought, well, nobody else wants my songs. <laughs> and all of a sudden, I tell you, in that moment, it was one of the most important moments in my life. I made a transition where when I began to be a blessing to my church, that's when God began to bless me. Yes, yes. amen. And um, just seeing this community of believers here in Moscow with uh, so many unbelievers around you and being this beacon, this light in this dark city, it just moves me. And the way God is at work on planet Earth is through His church. It's through little places like this. It's through you Amen. gathering and being faithful one day at a time. And, um, and I am a church guy. And I, I just want to be faithful to my church. So I just wanted to tell you that story to encourage you to serve in this church and let God use you and be faithful in the little things. God.
God will give you much. Somebody say amen. Amen.